Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. We're doing another Lizzie's board vlog today. I got some stuff to do. Uh, first up, if you watched my Laguna review yesterday, then you remember her legs were scratched all over, front and back. I emailed Mattel about it. It's pretty easy to contact them. Just Google their customer support and you fill out the form. The form has gotten a lot easier to fill out over the years. Um, and basically they have offered to reimburse me for the price I paid for her. They are going to send me a check. They offered me a creepover party Twyla for some reason and I said no, I just would prefer the check. So um, I'll be getting my money back on this doll, but I do get to keep her, which is pretty nice. I would have just ordered another one otherwise and probably risked the same thing happening again. But um, yeah, overall Mattel customer support is pretty good. I don't know if it's like this internationally, but if you live in the US, it's pretty good. By the way, I'm glad I get to keep her because her eyes are placed very well. Not so much her eyebrows, but her eyes themselves look good. So, um, yeah, overall I'm happy with her. We just have to find a spot for her on the shelf now, which is what we're going to do. Um, where should I... I'm trying to grab her by the base of the stand. I like to grab the dolls from this part of the stand. I just find it easiest to hold them that way. And, um... There we go. It's perfect, truly. So I'm not gonna keep this box. I'm just gonna throw it out because, again, I do have one to leave in the box, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, also, um, I heard recently that Fancy Laguna is actually going to be in stock at Target soon. I don't know if it's going to be in the stores, but online. She is only an Entertainment Earth exclusive for a limited amount of time, from what I've heard. This could be false, by the way. Please don't take what I'm saying as fact. But, um, yeah, so hopefully the Target thing happens. I do remember there being a listing for her on Target that got taken down a few hours later. Maybe that was a sign? I don't know. But yeah, enough about Fancy Laguna though, let's talk about some other stuff. Something I don't think I've talked about very much on this channel is Novi Stars, which is a line that ran for a pretty short amount of time. If you've seen the Izzy's video, you probably know what these are. But um, yeah, Novi Stars were these really cute alien dolls that were made by MGA in the 2010s. I actually owned the entire first wave as a kid. The full first wave consisted of these four characters, Ari, Roma, Ali, Electric, Metallic, and Universe. Universe was my number one favorite from the group. There was also a play set that was released initially. This doesn't stay on, it's kind of broken, but um, yeah. There was also a play set released with a character named Nidalite, or is it Nidalite? I feel like it's Nida. I don't know, but I loved her. She was my favorite Novi Stars doll and I have no memory of this, but apparently I donated all of my Novi Stars or just straight up got rid of them. I've slowly recollected some of them over the years. I was very lucky and I found these two at the flea market this weekend. I've got Ari Roma and Universe new in the box now. And over here I have both Universe and Ari Roma out of the box with an Ali Electric that I found at a local thrift store. She still lights up. Isn't that cool? This is all I've been able to find in the last couple of years. Novi Star dolls are unfortunately pretty scarce, and their prices online are abhorrent. Very high. Nothing I would ever want to pay. But another d doll that I owned was a beach version of Universe, and if I'm being honest, all I want is to get Nidalite, Metallic, and Beach Universe back. That's all I want. I just want to have the ones that I had as a kid once more. Unfortunately, Night of Light has been very difficult to track down. Can't find her anywhere for a good price. She's very overpriced. And I can't find the Beach Universe for a good price either. I don't really feel like paying $80 for her. These dolls have poly hair, by the way. None of them have Saran. They all have poly hair. And as for Metallic, she actually seems to be one of the most expensive of the original four, which is crazy to me because she's wearing a wig made of poly. It falls off very easily, by the way. All I could think is that the light is like the teal blue hair they gave her makes her look like Hatsune Miku, so people like her because she looks like Miku. I don't know. But, um, yeah, basically Novi Stars are fun, but the Izzy's video did make them a bit more expensive than they used to be. Not, like, extremely. I'm pretty sure they were already expensive, but that video definitely brought more eyes to the brand. I mean, honestly, it was a really cool doll line. I definitely feel like it deserves the attention. And um, Novi Stars has actually gotten more eyes, not just from that video, but also from the release of Zoe. I don't know if you guys remember this, but um, 
She's got Mimi on her on her shirt. Mimi Mirai's one of the probably most popular Novi Stars dolls. Zoe herself is like an ad for Novi Stars. Like she it's on her phone. It's on her laptop in the, on the screen like I feel like MGA wants to bring them back and I wish that they would, especially Mimi cuz she is so expensive. It is extremely unfair. I'm just going to I was on Mercari looking for Nidolite earlier. Mimi sold recently for like nearly $400 out of box. It's it's insane. <laughs> These numbers are disgusting. I also found this one where she sold for 2 fit to for 240 incomplete. She's missing one of her antenna, like a part of her body. But she still sold for a ton of money. You can see how matted the hair gets over time because it is yeah, she's missing a thing. It's Polly. The hair is always Polly. There was another nine hours ago. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it wasn't 400, but it was 320, which is still a lot for a little doll. She's gorgeous though. Mimi is legitimately one of the prettiest dolls and she's from a line called Supernovas. So she's taller. At least I think she's a supernova. I'm pretty sure her and Vera are the supernovas. I don't remember. Basically, Novi stars are expensive and it sucks. I had the opportunity to buy them as a kid, but I was too focused on Monster High. So, um, I didn't get any. <laughs> I also apparently gave mine away because I had to buy some of them back recently. Um, I actually got my Ari from the flea market. I got Universe online, like on eBay or something. Um, Allie, I mentioned, I got her at a thrift store. Yeah, that's actually the only time I've ever seen a Novi star at a thrift store when I found Allie. It was crazy. One unfortunate thing about my thrifted Allie, though, is that she lost her hair bow. She's supposed to have a little bow made of her hair in her hair, and mine doesn't have it. But hey, at least she lights up. I'm actually surprised this still works. Like, this doll's like 10 years old. So yeah, this is all the Novi stars I currently own. <laughs> I'm really happy to have the two in their boxes. It's just very funny that they happen to be the two that I have out of the box. So, yeah. I'm up to five. That's pretty good. I would really like to get more Novi Stars. One of my biggest regrets is seeing Mimi, like, new in box on eBay one time for, like, $60 and being like, oh, that's too much, man. If only you knew. Past Lizzie. Lizzie of the past, if only you knew. You know, I'm actually going back to the flea market tomorrow and to the same store where Universe and Ari were found at. If I get lucky, maybe I could find myself some more. <laughs> Ideally, I want to find the ones on my wish list. Uh, since the guy had these two, I'm thinking maybe he has more of the originals. It'd be nice to get Allie and, like, with her hair bow since mine doesn't have it. <laughs> It'd be nice to get a complete Allie and maybe to get my hands on May again. Again, I had all four of the originals plus Night of Light and another universe, so I had six total. I currently have three of those six. I just need three more so I can have my childhood collection back. And then from there on, I guess I could get some more, like, I would really like to get the Fire and Ice Girls because I think that they're dating. I would like to get Mimi and Vera just because they're absolutely gorgeous. I know they're two of, like, the most expensive popular dolls, but there's a reason for that. They're gorgeous dolls. So, um... Yeah, basically Novi Stars is good and I think MGA should start the Novi Stars revival because if they can put Lala Loopsie back in stores, they can put these back in stores. Yeah, basically I'm just I'm just thinking about these a lot. I don't know. Finding them at the flea market really just kind of set me on a Novi Stars downward spiral, which is bad because I can't afford the prices they go for. But, you know, if I use my thriftiness, my thrifty thrift skills, maybe I can acquire some more. Why is it always such a mess in here? Speaking of little dolls that I think might go up in the value in the future and become popular with cult following, I really think these little dolls are going to become something in the future. And they already currently are. They already have like a pretty good fan base currently and like they deserve it. These little things are adorable. Their faces are so detailed they look like repaints, honestly. Like the artistry of the faces is just amazing. I was sent these two for free by the company, but, like, I legitimately love them. Like, I don't know. They're just so cute. I've been meaning to uh, go out and buy the unicorn and maybe the special one, because there's two more that I can get. 
But then there's also a third through uh, Winter, the bunny. She has a uh, white skin and pink hair. She is so cute. I've got to get that one. Uh, these are the Magic Mixies Pixlings. They're just, they're so fucking cute. So yeah, basically moral of the story is uh, buy whatever random doll line that you see in stores and really like. Because you never know which ones in the future are going to be worth like $400 and you won't be able to buy again. It kind of, it happened with Monster High and I still don't understand how. <laughs> These dolls used to be really cheap. I feel like I mentioned this a lot, but I didn't pay a lot for my basics. Like, I got Abby in her box for like 20 bucks. My Frankie was like $20. Claudine was like 12 Draculaura was 7 Cleo and Deuce, are, I think, were only like $20. And these two are like the first, first versions. My original Laguna, this is, an, this is one that I replaced her with. But my original one, I got her for like, she was still like 30 bucks, but you know. And my Gulia was 25 My Gulia was 25 Can Can you even process that nowadays? That's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, um, basically just just buy whatever makes you happy. That's the moral here. Well, um, I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested in videos like this where I just kind of ramble on about a random doll line that I've recently gotten into, uh, let me know. It's kind of fun to just talk to you guys. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.